Good morning. Good afternoon. And good evening. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Omer and I'm a doctor. My aim is to bring you knowledge which can improve and sometimes even save lives. In today's video I'll tell you everything you need to know about chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, so let's get into it. COPD is a progressive lung disease that makes it difficult to breathe. COPD is the third leading cause of death in the world, according to the World Health Organization, and it is estimated that more than 300 million people are affected by COPD. In this video, we will be discussing COPD in detail, including its causes, symptoms, risk factors, complications, and prevention. What is COPD? COPD is a chronic lung disease that causes the airways in the lungs to become inflamed and narrowed. This inflammation makes it difficult to breathe, and over time, it can lead to permanent damage to the lungs. The two most common types of COPD are chronic bronchitis and emphysema. Chronic bronchitis is a condition in which the airways in the lungs become inflamed and produce excess mucus, whereas emphysema damages the lung air sacs and makes breathing difficult. Symptoms The symptoms of COPD can be mild or severe, and they tend to develop slowly over time. Some common symptoms of COPD include Shortness of breath, especially during physical activity Chronic cough, with or without mucus Wheezing Chest tightness Fatigue Unintended weight loss Swelling in the ankles, feet, or legs it's important to note that some people with COPD may not experience any symptoms until the disease has progressed to a more advanced stage. When to see a doctor If you are experiencing any of the following symptoms, it is important to see your doctor as soon as possible to determine if you have COPD. Experiencing shortness of breath without being physically active. Chronic cough that persists for more than a month. Wheezing or chest tightness. Frequent respiratory infections. Fatigue or weakness. Unintended weight loss. It is also important to see your doctor if you have a history of smoking or exposure to lung irritants, as these factors can increase your risk of developing COPD. Your doctor may perform a variety of tests, including spirometry, chest x-rays, and CT scans, to diagnose COPD and determine the severity of your symptoms. With early diagnosis and treatment, you can improve your quality of life and reduce your risk of complications associated with COPD. Understanding the risk factors of COPD While anyone can develop COPD, certain factors can increase your risk of developing the disease. Here are some of the key risk factors to be aware of. Smoking Smoking is the leading cause of COPD and accounts for up to 90% of all cases. The risk of developing COPD increases the longer you smoke, and the more cigarettes you smoke per day. Secondhand smoke Exposure to secondhand smoke can also increase your risk of developing COPD, especially if you are regularly exposed to smoke in your home or workplace. Environmental factors Exposure to air pollution, dust, and fumes from chemicals and other irritants can increase your risk of developing COPD, especially if you are exposed to these substances on a regular basis. Genetics In rare cases, genetic factors can contribute to the development of COPD, especially in individuals who have a deficiency in a protein called alpha-1 antitrypsin. Age while COPD can affect individuals at any age, it is more common in individuals over the age of 40. Gender COPD is more common in men than in women, although the gap is narrowing as more women take up smoking. Other medical conditions Certain medical conditions, such as respiratory infections, asthma, and chronic bronchitis, can increase your risk of developing COPD. Understanding these risk factors can help you take steps to reduce your risk of developing COPD. If you are at risk, it is important to take steps to reduce your exposure to environmental irritants, and to quit smoking if you are a smoker. By taking these steps, you can reduce your risk of developing COPD and other respiratory illnesses. Prevention 
Preventing COPD is primarily about avoiding exposure to risk factors. Some strategies for preventing COPD include It is best to avoid smoking or to quit if you smoke. This is the single most important step you can take to reduce your risk of developing COPD. Avoiding exposure to secondhand smoke, air pollution, and chemical fumes. If you work in an environment where you are exposed to these irritants, wear protective gear such as a mask. Getting regular exercise to improve lung function and overall health. Eating a healthy diet to maintain a healthy weight and support lung function. Getting vaccinated against respiratory infections such as influenza and pneumonia, as these infections can exacerbate COPD symptoms. Treatment options for COPD. While there is no cure for COPD, there are a variety of treatment options available to manage your symptoms and improve your quality of life. Some of the key treatment options for COPD include Lifestyle changes, making healthy lifestyle changes such as quitting smoking, exercising regularly, and eating a healthy diet, can also help manage your COPD symptoms and improve your overall health. Medications, the main treatment for COPD is inhalers known as bronchodilators. There are long-acting bronchodilators which allow you to breathe easier by relaxing and widening your airways. Each dose lasts for up to 12 hours, so it is used twice a day in morning and evening. Short-acting bronchodilator inhalers are there to provide more immediate relief when required however only have a short-term effect. Other types of inhalers and medications such as steroids may be required at some stage to help manage your symptoms and reduce inflammation in your lungs. Pulmonary Rehabilitation Pulmonary rehabilitation is a comprehensive program that includes exercise, education, and support to help you manage your symptoms and improve your quality of life. Oxygen Therapy If you have severe COPD, your doctor may prescribe oxygen therapy to help you breathe more easily. Complications of COPD If left untreated, COPD can lead to several complications, including Respiratory infections, individuals with COPD are at a higher risk of developing respiratory infections, which can further damage their lungs and worsen their symptoms. These are treated with antibiotics and steroid tablets most of the time. Heart problems COPD can put a strain on your heart, leading to conditions such as heart failure and arrhythmias. Depression and anxiety COPD can be a stressful and isolating disease, and many individuals with COPD experience depression and anxiety as a result. Lung cancer. Individuals with COPD are at a higher risk of developing lung cancer, especially if they smoke. Disability and reduced quality of life. Severe COPD can significantly impact your quality of life, and in some cases, may lead to disability. Understanding these potential complications is important as it highlights the importance of early diagnosis and treatment for COPD. By managing your symptoms and reducing your risk of complications, you can improve your quality of life and maintain your independence. Conclusion In conclusion, COPD is a progressive lung disease that can cause significant breathing difficulties and impair your quality of life. If you are experiencing any of the symptoms of COPD or if you have a history of smoking or exposure to risk factors, it is important to see a doctor for early diagnosis and treatment. By quitting smoking and avoiding exposure to risk factors, you can help prevent COPD and maintain healthy lungs. And that's it guys, I try to make chronic obstructive pulmonary disease super simple for you. My wish is that this information will be a helpful resource for either you or someone you love. As a full-time doctor, my goal with this channel is to share my medical knowledge with all of you to help improve your overall health and well-being. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing for more helpful content just like this. I'll be publishing a new video every week, so if you have any suggestions for future topics, please leave a comment below. Until then, take care of yourselves and stay healthy.